What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rhino Review Stuff. I'm Rhino, and I review stuff. And the stuff I've got to review today is the Pakutu PA800. It is a document camera for the classroom. And it's got some pretty nice features that you don't often find in a document camera of this price range. Let's check it out. So it comes in a pretty nondescript cardboard box here. It does say Pakutu PA800 on the back of the box. It does have a 5 megapixel camera. It's got this bendy gooseneck. It does up to 1944p. 1080p is probably optimal for this. It does have an LED ring light right here, and there's a little touch sensor, so you go boop, 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 boop. It has three levels of brightness. Also does autofocus, 30 frames per second. Again, like most of these document cameras in this price range, the 30 frames per second, take it with a grain of salt, it actually does closer to about 15. Uh, does have ISO, so it does adjust to the brightness in the room, and you can also change that on the fly. A3 shooting area, and it can reverse left and right, so it does some mirror mode stuff. First thing out of the box, we've got the user manual. Next thing out of the box, we've got this USB-A to USB-C adapter cable, so the OTG cable. And the last thing we've got here is the actual document camera. Like I said, it does have this gooseneck here. You can put it in pretty much any angle. The instructions, of course, say don't bend it all the way at a, at a uh, you know, five degree angle because you will shatter the metal that's inside of there. Taking a look here at the base of the unit, we do have our mirror mode button right there. We have a physical button for autofocus and it works really well. And we've got our brightness button. You can, of course, press it a few times to go brighter and then it goes back to basic default, dark. It's not actually that bad. So I have gotten the chance to use this at work. I will put that clip up here in a moment. One thing I do want to point out, you do need some software to run this. It can run in the default Windows or Macintosh camera slash photo app. However, you're not going to get very many features. I definitely re recommend going to the IPVO website and getting their visualizer software. You can't do all of the functions in the software, but you can do a lot of them, and it basically makes this document camera completely usable as a document camera. So here we are continuing to use this in OBS, and as you can see, the picture looks really, really sharp. The colors are very vibrant. This is without doing any editing of the video whatsoever. This is just what it looks like under the camera. There is some lag here. This is not a high-performance camera. However, it is 5 megapixels, so you get a pretty good image out of it. So really in a document camera, that's all you need. You're not going to be filming videos with this. And when Horton hatches an egg, sometimes it's a rhinoceros. So here we are in the IPVO software. You can see here on the screen, I do have the resolution set to 1944p. And uh, yeah, that's about what you should expect there. Like I said, it's not really 30 frames per second. It is much closer to 15 frames per second. And honestly, for a document camera, that's okay, especially one in this price range. So right here, I actually have a legal size piece of paper. And yes, you can see from top to bottom, um, I do have this situated. So it is over here on the left hand side because I do write with my right hand. You can set it up in other places. Um, you can set it over across from you like you would with a traditional document camera. However, you will have to rotate the camera unit up here at the top. That's not that big of a deal, just want to point it out, but of course you can place it wherever you want to. So let's check out the actual writing experience. So there we go. I am writing on this table. You can see it is a little bit bright, but that's also because I have lots of studio lighting going on. You can adjust the brightness with this button here, as you can see there on the screen. However, for my particular setup, it's already at the lowest that I can set it. Now, in the IPVO software, you can actually do a few other changes. Let's see if I can pull some of those up. I am going to zoom now. Um, let's go ahead and zoom down, or zoom in. There we go. So there we are zoomed in. You can see it looks pretty darn good. It's not blurry or scratchy or pixelated or anything, so the zoom in here is really very nice. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of drawing. And you can see even that was a pretty good experience. You can, of course, use this also as a webcam, and it is generally set up 
to be used in that particular position because like I said, the camera is situated like this. So if you set it straight up and down, point it at you, then you've got yourself a good looking, you know, webcam situation. Let's go ahead and switch over to that right now. I'm gonna leave it on this screen and do it really quick. And if you're gonna use this bad boy as a webcam, this is what it looks like. I've got the little ring light turned on right now. I don't know how well you can see that in my beautiful glowing eyes, but yes, the ring light is on. This is the audio coming through the microphone built into this document camera, and this is what it would look like if you were using this as a webcam. It's a pretty decent looking picture, and I can scoot back, of course, so you're not looking directly at my pores. Final verdict here. It does the job. Like I said, you've got your camera. You can set it up at all sorts of different angles. It's got the physical buttons on here, which are really nice to do the autofocusing and to do the exposure settings and to do the rotation. That's awesome. A lot of budget document cameras just don't have that, and it's really nice to see that in this unit. So the PA800 here from Pakutu, um, yeah, for the price, pretty darn good. If you are interested in picking one of these things up, links will be down there in the description. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you all later. Bye.